everyone. Hi, Hi ben. ben. I'm not Ben. Yes, you are. Ben is my usual name. But when I put on my superhero costume, I become Elfman. What does Elf Boy do? Elfman. He can run and jump and fly. That's not flying. This is flying. Uh, but I can fly in the Elfmobile. <coughs> but that's just Gaston. No, it's the Elfmobile. <coughs> the Elfmobile can go on land, sea or air. Ooh. We can be superheroes too. Yes. yes. I'll be Fairy Girl. I'll be Captain Crazy. I'll be the strongest boy in the world. And we can all do nice things and help people. Hang on. We can't all be goodies. Someone has to be the baddie. The what? You know, a supervillain. Can I be the supervillain? OK, Strawberry. Do I help people too? No. You have to try and take over the world. The whole world? Well, maybe we should just start with the Little Kingdom and I'll try and stop you. OK. I will be the Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry Ice Cream? Ice Queen, not cream. Oh. Super villains always have a gang. We'll be the gang. So, it will be Elf Man and Fairy Girl against Strawberry Ice Queen and her gang. <laughs> the goodies will win. The baddies will win. No, the goodies will win. To the Elfmobile. Come on, Fairy Girl. Do your worst, Ice Queen. OK, Fairy Girl. Bye. I'm the Ice Queen, so maybe I should make it a bit cold. <laughs> It's chilly! Yes, that's because I'm the Ice Queen. Sorry. My goodness, it's cold! Yes, and in the middle of summer. Very odd. Very odd indeed. Brr, it's gone all cold. I bet the Ice Queen has something to do with that. Yes, let's go to the Elf Cave. This is just Gaston's house. Well, today, it's the Elf Cave. Here's the Elf Computer. I invented it myself. But it's a cardboard box. Ah, as I thought. Strawberry Ice Queen has made it cold on purpose. But how do you know that? There's nothing on the screen. <sighs> it's pretend, remember, Holly? Oh, yes. The computer doesn't really work. That would be crazy. Whoa! <laughs> it's me, the Ice Queen. How are you, Elf Boy? Elf Man! And how did you do that? This computer's just a cardboard box. I can do anything. I'm the one who made it cold. Ha! I wouldn't say it's that cold. No, we're not even wearing gloves. Ha! Oh, yes? I can make it colder, if you like. Do your worst. You'll never stop Elf Man and Fairy Girl. We'll see about that. Mwahahaha. <laughs> ben! Lunch time! Oh, I've got to go. I'm having pizza for lunch. Pizza? Can we all come too? Can we? Please! OK, you can all come for pizza. There you are. I was getting worried, what with this mad weather. Mum, my friends have come for lunch too. Is that OK? Yes, of course. We're superheroes. And super villains. <laughs> That's nice. Who wants pizza? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> we can't stop long. I've got to take over the world. And Ben and I have to save the world. Oh, good. So you'll need to keep your strength up then. Hmm. What's the best way of taking over the world? You are the Ice Queen. You could make it snow. Yes, maybe I will. Thanks, Fairy Girl. Come on, let's get on with the game. We're off to our secret hideout. Us too. Bye. 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 OK, I'm going to make it snow. Snow, 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 snow. <laughs> snow now as well. In July. Oh, this 
is ridiculous. Why's old elf? Why's old elf? There's something you have to see. Eh? What's that? Come with me. I'll show you. Is it much further? I'm freezing. We're here. Look. What on earth? Where are we? The very edge of the little kingdom. And the snow stops here. Snow? No snow. Snow? No snow. Snow? Yes, thank you, Mrs Elf. We get the idea. No snow. But what is causing this strange snow? It's magic. Magic. And I'll bet my beard that Nanny Palum has done it. Dee dee da dum dee dum dee do dee dee da dum. Nanny Palum, whatever you're doing, stop it. What? The washing? No, the snow. It's not my fault. Oh come on, Nanny, it's always your fault. No, it's normally my fault, but not today. Then who on earth is doing it? Maybe it's a supervillain. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Nanny Plum. Why is that ridiculous? Because supervillains don't exist. What about superheroes? They don't exist either. It's a lot of nonsense. Then what's that? It's a superhero symbol in the sky. Oh. Let's find out where it's coming from. Now, when the people of the world need help, they'll know where to find the elf cave. Really? Will people really ask us for help? Well, no. It's just a game. No one is actually going to knock on the door. Huh? Hello? Is anyone there? That's my dad. Anyone home? Isn't this where Gaston lives? Maybe a superhero lives here too. That's the silliest thing I've heard in all my life. Hello, this is Elfman and Fairy Girl. We are superheroes. See? Told you. Elfman? Who's Elfman? Can we come in? No. Our secret identities have to remain... a... Uh, a secret. Can you help us? The whole of the little kingdom is covered in snow. Yes, that's the work of the Ice Queen. She is a supervillain. You see? A supervillain. All right, all right. Leave your problem with Elf Man and Fairy Girl. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Elf Boy. Ah, oh, Elf Man! We have to find Strawberry's secret hideout and tell her to stop the snow. <laughs> The whole of the little kingdom is freezing cold. Even in here? Yes. My bottom is getting cold sitting on the ice throne. Couldn't you be the Sunshine Queen instead? It's too late now. I'm Strawberry Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry's hideout must be around here somewhere. We need to look out for a sort of place that a supervillain Ice Queen might live in. Uh, like that? Giant palace of ice. This is better than the elf cave any day. No, it's not. It's just showing off. <laughs> not so fast, Strawberry Ice Queen. What brings you here, elf boy? Elf man! I've come to stop you. But you can't stop me. I'm the ice queen. <laughs> Strawberry, the grown-ups are a bit cross about all the freezing snow. Oops, are they? Yes. Are we in trouble? I don't think we're in trouble, as long as the game is over. OK. Do I win? No, the goodies win. That's not fair. You're stuck in the ice. Oh, OK, you win. Hooray! Finally, I can get rid of the ice throne. My bottom is freezing. Oh, good! The sun is out! The little kingdom is saved. All thanks to Elfman and Fairy Girl. If only we knew their secret identities. But we never will. <laughs> Delivery. Oh, hello, Mr. Elf. 
lovely day. It certainly is. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Come up. Mr Elf is kind delivering our food. Yes. Where would we be without elves? No idea, Your Majesty. Cheerio, Mr Elf. Um, uh... Is there something else? No. Well, yes. I was just wondering if you could pay us today. Pay you? Yes. You haven't paid us any money for ages. Oh, right. How much do we owe you? Um, 492 gold coins. Gosh, that's a lot. Don't worry, Ben. We'll just get some money, won't we, Nanny? Money doesn't grow on trees, Holly. No? No. It grows in the magic money chest. Oh, there's only one coin in it. One coin is all we need. I throw it into the magic money chest. <laughs> it sounds like popcorn. Don't lift the lid up until it stops. Gold coins. Wow! Can I have a go? All right. I'll just empty the chest. Now, Ben, throw the coin in. But I haven't got a coin. You made them all disappear. Oh, without a coin, we can't make money. Um, I've got a button. Perhaps that will work. <laughs> it's doing its popcorn thing. Oh, it's full of buttons. Nanny, can you buy things with buttons? Mr Elf, would it be OK to pay you in buttons? Uh, no. The magic money chest broken? Yes, Your Majesty. For some reason, it's just making buttons. And we need to pay Mr Elf. Don't worry, Holly. I'll sort this out. Ah, this is embarrassing. But the thing is, we're a bit short of money today. No reason to be embarrassed, Your Majesty. No reason at all. Sorry and all that. No, no. Please don't give it another thought. Good. When you get some money, let me know. And I'll bring the food right back. Bye. Oh, bye. I've good news and bad news. What's the bad news? The bad news is there is no good news. Mr Elf's taken breakfast away. And all because we don't have any silly money. What's money for? I'm not really sure, Holly. But the elves seem to like it. Couldn't you fix the magic money chest, Daddy? It's not broken. We just need a gold coin to throw in. Who's got one? That's the problem, dear. Nobody's got one. So how do we get a gold coin? My dad gets paid gold coins for doing his job. Really? Could you do a job, Daddy, and get a gold coin? I suppose I could give it a try. What sort of job will you get, Daddy? I'm not sure. I must be good at lots of things. I'm the king. Ah, wise old elf. I'm looking for a job. <laughs> Very funny, Your Majesty. No, I'm serious. I need to earn a gold coin. I see. Normally, you'd have to go to the Elf Job Centre and answer lots of questions. But in your case... No, no. I command you to treat me like anyone else. Yes, sire. Name? The King. Mr King. What was your last job? The King. The King. Any skills? Being King. Mm. We don't have a king job right now. Um, we need a toy factory worker, or a farmer, or a sailor. Ooh, Daddy, sailor sounds fun. Yes, I like messing about in boats. You will be a sailor on our brand new ship, Your Majesty. It's the king! Hooray! I'm not the king today. I'm just a humble sailor. But we need a king to launch our new ship. Oh, all right, then. I'll just be a king for a moment. I declare this ship launched. Hurrah! Now treat me like any new sailor. OK. You can mop the deck. Right. You're doing very well, Daddy. It's rather dull. Why don't I speed things up with some magic? No, Daddy. The elves don't like magic. <sighs> Your job looks fun. Let's swap. Of course, Your Majesty. Much better. Oh, this is fun. Heard a starboard. Which way's starboard? Why can't they just say left or right? 
wave is a rock! Abandon ship! Hello, Your Majesty. How's everything going? Very well. But that ship wasn't strong enough. Have you got another one? Maybe you're not cut out to be a sailor, Your Majesty. What other jobs did the elf lady say I could do? The toy factory, Daddy. That would be fun. It's the king! Hooray! I'm not the king today. I'm just a humble factory worker like you lot. But we need a king to inspect the toys. OK, I'll be king for a second. <coughs> it's perfect. Right, now I'm just a humble factory worker again. What do I do? Press this button and out comes the gloop. <laughs> what about something a bit more interesting? Making the toys? Uh, no, Your Majesty. The painting? Perhaps not. The packing? No. Today you are the gloop elf. <laughs> Very good, Daddy. I think I'm really getting the hang of this. What? Go faster! All right! How are you getting on, Your Majesty? Oh, Perhaps you're not suited to factory work, Your Majesty. What was the last job on the list? Working on the farm, Daddy. The King has a right to start our harvest dance! Hooray! I'm not the King today. I'm here to do farm work. But it's our holiday. Not when there's work to be done. You heard the king. Back to work. <gasps> Righto, what do I do? This pumpkin needs watering, so it'll grow nice and big. It's not growing. It takes a long time, King Thistle. Weeks and weeks. Hmm. Let's speed it up with a little magic. No, Daddy. That'll help it grow. Wow! That's a big pumpkin. It's still growing! It's not going to stop! Ah! The pumpkin's going to explode! Right. Well, that's as good a time as any to finish my day's work. How many gold coins have I earned? For being a sailor, you earned one gold coin. But for sinking the ship, we'll have to take it back. For working in the factory, you earned one gold coin. But for causing a duck flood, we'll have to take it back. And for working on the farm, you earned one gold coin. But for making the pumpkin explode, we'll have to take it back. But I need a gold coin. I suppose I'll just have to come back to work tomorrow. Ah! Take the gold coin and don't come back tomorrow. One gold coin. I earned it all myself. Oh, well done, darling. We just chuck it in the magic money chest. It's doing the popcorn thing. It's full of gold coins. <laughs> We're rich again. Hooray! Well done, Daddy. You worked so hard today. It was fun. Well, I'm off. Don't want to be late. Where are you going, Daddy? Back to work. I've decided to work evenings. But we have the money, Daddy. There's more to work than money, Holly. The elves need me. Your Majesty, we need you. You see? We want you to be the king again. But kings don't work. I want to be useful. But kings are useful. We needed a king to launch the elf ship. That's true. You launched the elf ship, Daddy. Even though you sort of sank it as well. We couldn't make our toys if a king didn't inspect them. And most importantly, a king has to start our harvest dance. I see. Well, in that case, start the harvest dance. Hooray! Uh oh, maybe I am quite good at being king. I think it's the job you're second best at. Really? And what job am I best at? Being Daddy. <laughs>
I knew this shortcut through the meadow wasn't a good idea. You'll be late for school, Lucy. Hee <laughs> hee, but I love going this way. We might meet my little elf and fairy friends again. Lucy, the other day when we thought we saw elves and fairies, it was a very hot day, and I'm afraid we let our imaginations run away with us. There really aren't any such things as fairies and elves. Good morning, Lucy's dad. Ah, uh, good morning, little elf. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Ben and Holly. Come on, Lucy. You'll be late for school. Uh, bye, little people. I'm going to school. It's nature day. Can we come? It'd be a brilliant adventure. Yes. No, no. I forbid it. Remember, we mustn't be seen by big people. But I've seen you, and so has my dad. But you're nice. It's just other big people we can't trust. Oh, don't worry. I'll go with them and we'll keep well hidden. Hooray! OK, but if you do get seen, pretend to be a toy. Like this. I'm a toy. Yes, yes, whatever. Come on, Lucy. Say goodbye to your, um, little friends. Yes, Daddy! Quick, into my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Lucy. Pick you up later. Bye, Dad! <laughs> this is my school. Wow! So many big children. Stay hidden. We mustn't be seen. Good morning, children. Good morning, Miss Cookie. Today we are learning about wonderful things in nature, like Fluffy, our hamster. Who knows what kind of animal Fluffy is? A hamster? Yes, but what sort of animal is a hamster? Oh, he's a mammal. Is he a mammal? Yes. Well done, Lucy. Its proper name is Mesocriquetus. Auratus. Its proper name is Mesocriquetus auratus. Goodness! I think we'll just stick with Fluffy. <laughs> oh no! Gaston smelt the bananas! He likes bananas! Gaston, here boy! Stop! Come back! Nature is all around us. Like this pretty little insect. Does anyone know what she's called? Gaston, and he's a boy. <laughs> Very funny, Lucy. Is it a ladybird? Yes, or you could call her a ladybug. And what does she eat? Gaston likes pies. And spaghetti bolognese. Pies and spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> <laughs> no, ladybirds eat things like green flies. Let's keep the ladybird in this jar. Oh, no! Gaston's trapped. We'll let her go later. I hope Gaston will be all right. Don't worry. I'll get him out of the jar. But you'll be seen. It's all right, Ben. I'll be very careful. Miss Cookie, there's a fairy walking across my desk. A fairy? Let's have a look. Nanny, the teacher's coming. Pretend to be a toy. Oh, yes, I'm a toy. Oh, a little fairy godmother. Whose toy is this? Um, it's mine. Do you remember what our rule is? No toys in class! That's right. I'll pop the dolly in my drawer and you can have it back at the end of the lesson, all right? Yes, Miss Cookie. But, Miss Cookie, it was a real fairy. Thank you, Katie. Let's carry on, shall we? Ooh, what's this? She's got Nanny's wand. <laughs> it's sparkly. That girl doesn't know she's doing magic. Miss Cookie, there's a frog on my desk. Oh, what? Oh, where did he spring from? Well, well, can anyone tell me what kind of animal a frog is? Meow. It's a kitten. It's not a kitten. Oh, my goodness, it is a kitten. We have to stop her. I'll do a spell to lift the wand out of her hand. Uh, Zooby Zooby's air float in the air. Oh dear, I didn't mean to lift her as well. Miss Cookie, Katie's out of her seat. Sit down, please, Katie. Good, she's dropped the wand. I'll go and get it. Wait for me. Miss Cookie, there's an elf and a fairy walking across my desk. 
Quick, pretend to be toys. What a pretty fairy doll and a handsome elf. Are they yours as well, Lucy? Yes, Miss Cookie. I think I'll put these toys in the drawer as well. What are you two doing here? We tried to get your wand, but a boy saw us. Did you pretend to be toys? Yes, yes Nanny. Nanny. Good. Well, I think we've been very clever so far. No one knows we're not toys. But we shut in the teacher's drawer. And we haven't got our wands. Yes. I think we'll have to call for a little help. Elf Rescue. Hello. Well, if it isn't Nanny Plum, let me guess. The big children have seen you, you've lost your wand, and you've been locked in a cupboard. No, you've got it all wrong. We've been locked in a drawer. Oh, all right. I suppose I'd better rescue you. Elf Helicopter is go. I'm on my way. Sit tight and don't do any magic. He's on his way. Lucy! Psst, Lucy! Oh, hello, wise old elf. Are you here to rescue Ben and Holly? Yes. Watch an elf ninja at work. Oh, bother! Miss Cookie, there's an elf on a string. Oh, this is an odd-looking doll. Yours as well, Lucy. Uh, yes, Miss Cookie. I'll put this funny-looking goblin in the drawer with the rest of the toys. Funny-looking goblin? Funny goblin? Ah, it's the wise old elf, here to rescue us. Yay! Uh, yes. Hello. I never thought I'd be so glad to see you. What's the rescue plan? Uh, Will you make a hole in the drawer with a special elf rescue drill? Uh, no. Getting locked in the drawer was not part of my plan. It wasn't? No. It's all right. Lucy's teacher will let us out at the end of the lesson. Home time, children. Oh, oh Lucy, let me give you your toys back. I said it was risky, but oh no, you don't listen. Oh, it's all right. They all think we're toys. Uh, guys! <gasps> oh, I must have imagined it. Right, um, here are your toys back, Lucy. The pretty fairy, the handsome elf, the fairy godmother and the strange old goblin. Madam, for your information, I am not a goblin. I'm an elf. <laughs> oh, well done, wise old elf. So much for not being seen by big people. Now Miss Cookie knows about us. Don't worry, I'll sort it out. Hello, Miss Cookie. You must promise not to tell any of your friends that you've been seeing elves and fairies. No, I promise I won't tell anyone, any of my friends, that I've been seeing elves and fairies. Thank you so much. Bye! Can I have my ladybird back? Your ladybird? OK. Well, well. By the way, he's a boy and he loves spaghetti bolognese. Don't you, Gaston? <laughs> Bye! Now I've seen everything. Cheerio! Hi, Dad. Hi, Lucy. Good day. <laughs> Great. So what did you do at school today? Uh, well... Bye, Lucy. Can we have our wands back? Of course. See you again soon. Cheerio, Lucy's dad. Uh, cheerio. You'll never in a million years guess what I saw today. An elf in a helicopter. Don't tell me. You've seen them too? Um, yes. Maybe we should just keep this between ourselves, eh? Yeah, good idea. I think we got away with that. Only a couple of people saw us. Lucy. And her dad. And all her friends. And her teacher, thanks to the wise old elf. Yes. Maybe we should just keep this between ourselves. Mm, yes. What's it worth? 